Right. The rules of the game have changed beyond all recognition. But or have they? Because there, no. there is a strong echo of Mussolini. I mean, yeah. he, he and runs I after think, politicians. You know, I mean, one of the things I really do feel quite strongly about is that the big big mistake was to laugh at him for so long. Mm. We laughed at Idi Amin, and I remember saying to people, "He's no buffoon." Mm. Right? You laugh at him, and in a way, he becomes popular in exactly the wrong kind of way. A man we love to laugh at. Well, now, you know, look who's laughing. So I think we have to take him seriously. And, we, and not just America, but all of us. Like, he's taken off the civil rights statement already, or, or had, had it taken well, they off. Do, they, I mean, there's, there seems to be a sort of divided opinion about this. When, when you change presidents, no, they the, change the, the, all policies, the documentation. But the not that the up, civil yeah. rights has been up yeah. for 50 years, right? And what does he put in there? Support our law enforcement agencies. If I was black and living in America today, I mean, it's bad enough, but the last 18 months, the whole Black Lives Movement Matter movement came out of the fact that there were so many official killings. And now we have a president who's reinforcing that idea. Women we know about. So I think we have to take him very seriously. Absolutely seriously. Do you think uh, with our, our, our Brexit position, uh, Theresa May is going to be the first world leader, we're told, to, to, to meet him as president, um, that actually, because he sees us perhaps as a comrades in... Uh, I was going to say comrades in arms, that would be most inappropriate, as comrades <laughs> in the struggle against the establishment and the elite, that actually we could, we could uh, benefit from any crumbs that fall from... Uh, his table. Well, I think if, if Mrs May is not the elite, I don't know who is. Um, and actually, as Rather it was pointed girl. out, after his, after his speech, he went and had lunch with the elite of Washington. Yes. So this is a man, you know, but <laughs> one of the interesting things that I think the Mail on Sunday said um, was she's going to tick him off about what he says and thinks about women. Yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah? I'd love to be there and see that happen. I think you take it very seriously. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, he, he apparently idolises Maggie, so the notion of a handbagging, uh, I, um, I, 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 no, I ask. I think, you know, and we are in a place where... I mean, I'm hoping she's tough enough, you know, to see his, his really grotesque side. But no, we, are, we count out America.